six different no churn ice creams today. Yes, I said it, no churn. All of them are super simple, very easy to make, a five to maybe seven ingredients max, and no banana. We're gonna start with our two classics, vanilla bean and chocolate. Our others are peanut butter fudge with a roasted strawberry jam, salted tahini caramel, topped on a brownie, maple, vanilla, blueberry with creamy peach, and s'mores, which are the graham crackers, toasted marshmallows, and some dark chocolate. What's really beautiful about these are you can make every ingredient from scratch, giving it that real authentic creamery feel. But I'm also going to mix it up in case you're one of those folks on the go or need something simple made quickly. If you're going to be making this fully homemade, start off by putting a can of coconut milk in a glass jar and then refrigerate overnight. This will allow you to see the cream separate to the top, which you will use to make whipped cream. Following up with your vegan condensed milk, check out our last video to see how to make this homemade and the endless options. Whip that around until combined. Blend in some vanilla and salt, which I forgot to show you here in the video. The first one you're going to make is vanilla bean. If you don't have a vanilla bean, you can use four total teaspoons of vanilla, but use the vanilla bean because I'll forgive you, but your taste buds won't. Give this one last thorough whip then complete it by putting in a container and freezing it overnight. So the first couple steps of each ice cream are going to be pretty similar, but in the next few scenarios, I use a store-bought whipped cream simply to show you that you can accomplish it each way. Since we are making chocolate, I decided to make a variation of the vegan condensed milk by making a condensed chocolate almond milk. Adding in your cocoa powder, blend in your salt and vanilla, then blend again. Moving into the next one, you can use a blender or a food processor to put these together. In with some blueberries and maple syrup and vanilla, then pulse to make a blueberry mixture. Put your blueberry mixture aside, then prep some peaches to go into the blender, along with a little vanilla to make a peach mixture. Swirl or fold this together with a spatula to complete. If you don't have your bear claw mitts yet, get some to grab your perfectly roasted marshmallows. From here, you're gonna want to get these right into your base and blend for about 30 seconds. In with your dark chocolate chips, crushed graham crackers, and give it a fold and pour it in. Next, we're going to start with our homemade peanut butter fudge. This recipe you can get from the post. Fold this together, then next, get out the strawberry jam. I like to put the ice cream into the container, alternating the jam and the ice cream until it's full. Our last one we're going to start by hoping you didn't eat all of the brownie. We're going to make small cubes to add right into our mix. Try not to make a mess as you add your mixture into your container and again, alternating, adding this in with your caramel until full. Each one of these recipes can be found on our website, links in the description below. We post videos every Monday. Tune in next week to see what we're cooking up. Let's chat in the comments with any questions, support you have, and thank you.